Hey guys, Tony here from Tony Tech Bytes, and this is my personal build in the Loki Ghost S1. So I downsized it even further from the large top hat Kraken X53 configuration that I had before. So instead of using a liquid cooler, I'm using an air cooler. This is the Big Shuriken 3 from Scythe. They sent this out to me for review, but uh, they didn't pay me to make this video or tell me the same thing in particular. So I want to quickly talk about the build process of this case first before uh, talking about the design and the features. So with the Big Shuriken 3, I mounted it on the cooler and tested it with the stock fan. I'll include thermals later on in this video. And uh, it didn't really fit with the side panel because the Big Shuriken 3 is 70 millimeters in height. But the max cooler height, I think for this case, is 67 or 66 millimeters. So I had to use the Noctua NFA 12 by 15 fan. It's a 120 millimeter, 15 millimeter thick fan. So uh, I mounted that on with zip ties. And also the M.2 heat spreader for the Asus X570i motherboard is too tall. So I had to remove a couple fins from the uh, Big Shuriken 3. So that did hinder thermal performance by a little bit. So it's a little bit of a crude process and it's really snug when it fits inside the side panel. So that's the most important part. One of the best parts about the Big Shuriken 3 is that it's designed around VRM heatsink so that the fins are cut in a way that fits this motherboard, the Asus X570i. And it actually fits really perfectly. The heatsink fins don't touch the VRM heatsinks, but it does touch the M.2 heatsink. RAM clearance is unlimited, so that's a really good strong point of the CPU cooler. It also has five copper heat pipes to transfer the heat from the processor into the fins. For the base plate of the Big Shuriken 3, it's a nickel coated copper base plate and it has a really shiny polished finish to it so that should help with thermal conductivity. And also for the benchmarks, I did use Scythe's included thermal paste so that might not be the absolute best quality but it's just a look at the stock performance that comes out of the box. So let's talk about the thermal performance of the Big Shuriken 3 on my Ryzen 9 3900X. So as you can see from these benchmarks using Prime 95 with small FFTs, uh, it does an okay job with the Ryzen 9 3900X. It's kind of underclocking a little bit from base speed, which is 3800 megahertz, but that's not that bad. Considering the Big Shuriken 3 wasn't really designed around high TDP processors, and this is kind of way out of its league. So after taking off some aluminum fins and mounting a Noctua fan on it, it did a little bit worse because there's a physically smaller heat sink, so obviously it's not gonna be able to absorb as much heat. As for noise levels with the stock fan, it wasn't too bad, but with the Noctua fan, I do experience a little bit more turbulence because the side panel is literally touching the zip ties that are holding it together. That's the only thing to keep in mind with this build and it's kind of crazy how I managed to cram all this stuff with a little bit of modification inside such a small case. The fact that I managed to cram in super powerful desktop hardware inside such a small form factor really just goes to show how technology has advanced throughout these years. You have really small motherboards, smaller SSDs, smaller graphics cards, smaller power supplies, and really power hungry specs that can be fit inside such a small case. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Also comment down below what you think about my build. If you also wanna check out anything that I use in this build, like the Loki Ghost S1 or the Big Shuriken 3 CPU cooler, I'll link it in the description down below for your convenience.